this doesn't look good. Just take it till you're paradise. Take me to gain weight there it is i even wrote it yep now let's talk about it let me tell you why i gained weight and how i got to my heaviest weight ever but first of all hey and welcome back to my channel my name is anna and on here i post about everything from food to fitness and mental health and today we're going to be speaking about over exercising and not taking enough rest and why this made me gain weight so grab yourself a snack some water tea coffee or matcha and find yourself a comfortable spot because this video <sighs> it's quite something also i would love to welcome you back for my future videos so feel free to hit the subscribe button down below like this video and don't forget to leave a comment let's go before we start, a quick disclaimer. Guys, please remember I'm no nutritionist, personal trainer, or doctor, so please don't apply everything that I will tell you during this video for yourself. Everybody is different, and in the end, YouTube is and has always been for entertainment purposes first. To be frank with you, I didn't plan this video. I never expected myself to post such a video. A video about weight gain in the slightest was so far off my agenda. Even when I noticed that I gained weight, I just pushed it to the side. But over the last few weeks, I've learned one or two things and I think that these things are too important not to talk about them, especially because they are often overlooked. Now we all know the obvious reasons for weight gain. You don't move enough you eat too much, you might have a hormonal dysfunction, but food and exercise are known to play the biggest part. Everyone tells you to hit the gym or to join a program when you complain about your body. Everyone tells you that you should exercise more often, but no one tells you that you can actually over-exercise and that that might lead to the opposite of your goals. This video will not be about any diet or any weight loss hacks, so please don't be disappointed. I will make a video about that in the future, but in this video, I really want to focus on over-exercising because I don't want you guys to make the same mistakes that I did when I started my journey here on YouTube. <laughs> don't judge. When we are talking about over-exercising, we mean working out hard and not taking rest days. So this video will also highlight the importance of taking enough rest. Shout out to everyone telling me on my very first video that I should take rest days and I thought I knew better. I didn't. Perfectionism is the most paralyzing form of self-abuse. You all see that? Today's the day where I'm gonna stop wearing my Apple Watch. Hi, toxic tracker. So let's take things back and let me tell you my story. Maybe some of you guys have watched my first YouTube video where I worked out for a whole month straight without skipping a single day and me then bragging about it on the internet. So some of you guys might know a little bit more about where my story starts. By yourself. Now you wanna At the beginning of this year, 2021, I decided I wanted to change things because after the second lockdown, I lost complete motivation to work out and I knew that I didn't want it to stay that way. So I started with dance workouts and one day I slid into the world of fitness positive YouTube through workout challenge videos actually. Now I don't want to mention any names in this video because I respect every single content creator out there. I love their channels and I do not want to talk anyone down or act like I know better. But as a matter of fact, this side of YouTube led to me doing a lot of things wrong but thinking I did it right. My hair looks sexy. <laughs> Damn, I stepped on my waist. As a positive thing though, I first felt so motivated by all of these people, one person in particular, that I decided I wanted to wake up earlier and work out every morning. 
and I did. I did low impact workouts for 30 minutes. I felt great, I ate well, and life was good. And I kept on watching more and more videos, and I saw these people working so much harder than me. And I thought I had to prove myself, so I increased the intensity and the amount of time of my workouts. This was around the time when I started my YouTube channel, and I remember back then I could barely do one 30 minutes Lily Sabri workout, and I would pass out, and two months later I would be working out for 50 minutes to 60 minutes, and I would still not feel satisfied. I started to think that hit workouts would be the one and true way to go. I wanted to be like the people I watched and admired, so I pushed harder. And at the beginning, I think it was a good thing that I did that because I definitely improved my fitness and my relationship with exercise. But sooner or later, it became toxic. And that was my fault. Because I'm a perfectionist. I want to get things right and as perfect as they can be. And I found these role models and they seem to be perfect. And I wanted to be just like them. Baby, it's you. This doesn't look good. This looks good. Up until late April, I was deep down into over-exercising without even knowing it. Even though I did start working out every day at the beginning of that month when I went back to school because I just couldn't fit it in all into one day. So I allowed myself to take one rest day, but I felt so bad for taking it. Another big problem with over-exercising is that you suffer from injuries because you don't give your body enough time to heal. If you remember my Chloe Ting challenge, I complained about my knee hurting, my back aching, and I still work out every day. Looking back, this was my big old warning sign and I chose to ignore it. Never ignore even just minor injuries because these can lead to something much bigger and much more dangerous. This is why rest and regeneration are so important. reason as to why I slid into over-exercising lies in my childhood. I always struggled with my weight and I was bullied for the way that I looked. Losing all of that weight left me in great fear of weight gain throughout all of the following years. I would try diets, workout challenges, getting a routine, but none would stick. So when I finally found joy in exercise, I thought that I would finally be on the path to make sure that I would never gain weight again and just be healthy. That I would just compensate everything with exercise because muscles burn calories and that means that you can eat more or you will even lose weight. And this right here is exactly the mindset of a lot of people who, first of all, are deep down into dieting or second of all, deep down into over-exercising. After two months of working out daily, I clearly noticed that I had gained weight. And I didn't know why, because my diet felt the same, I eat healthy, and I worked out regularly. It would take a few weeks until YouTube recommended me a brilliant video from Lena Snow addressing her own weight gain and mentioning over-exercising as her main cause. I will link her video down below so that you can check it out if you like to. So to wrap things up, over the course of 3 months I had gained 7 kg, which equals around 70 pounds, and about 4 cm, which are 1.5 inches around my waist, leaving me at my highest weight ever. I put out some before and after pictures for you, and I don't know how much they actually show, but just know that I would have to buy bigger pants now. I will have to pee so much today because I'm onto my second bottle of this and watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> Stay hydrated, that's all I can say. Okay, but why does too much exercise even make you gain weight? <laughs> exercise is just like ice cream. Too much of a good thing will eventually turn into something bad. The difference is, we all know that we shouldn't eat too much ice cream because we will get stomach cramps and sugar overdose, but just a few of us are aware that too much exercise can be dangerous as well. Over-exercising brings different symptoms with it. Some are the so-called overtraining symptoms, which show in fatigue and exercise addiction, and some are stall in weight loss or even weight gain. And I suffered from all of them.
que es Para ti fue una aventura Y yo, bebé Quería ser tu romeo La última vez Te juro que la última vez Se doble cara está de moda El egoísmo a ti te ahoga Y tus mentiras Working out is something good for you, but sometimes we get a bit over ahead of ourselves and we dive too deep in. This can happen to anyone. Even if you weren't into fitness before, the cause is something mentally, but it projects onto your physical condition. Overworking your body will lead to intense fatigue, increasing hunger and cravings, mood swings, decreased sleep quality, anxiety, higher cortisol, and lower thyroid hormone. For me, the latter is a big problem because I already have an underperforming thyroid genetically. All of these things, together and separately, can lead to weight gain. I'm gonna try Chipotle mayo. Oh, this is nice. When you work out a lot, you will get hungry because your body needs more energy. Overworking your body can also lead to depression or anxiety, feeling unmotivated in every aspect, and a lot of the time we turn to food for comfort. I was no exception from that. My food itself was still healthy, but I noticed that I increased my portion sizes by a lot compared to what I would eat in the past. I shouldn't be standing with a heart that's so heavy. Okay, let's get a little bit scientific. A workout is also a stressor for your body. In small doses, this can be good and beneficial as it will cause muscle growth. But if you overdo it, just like me, and you don't give your body rest, instead you're just increasing the intensity of your workouts, the stress just gets higher and higher, leading to a never-leaving inflammation. Once you enter the zone of chronic stress, your body increases its cortisol and insulin levels which eventually leads to weight gain, especially around your abdominal area. This is exactly what I noticed for myself, since my legs got more toned and muscular, and my arms and back pretty much stayed the same, but my stomach gained fat and water. Keep in mind, not only workouts are causing stress for your body, which is why when you're highly stressed, you're more likely to gain weight. This applies to all of us, and it's often overlooked when we're searching for the reason for a weight gain. For me, not only my overtraining was causing me stress, but also my finals in uni, pressure of performing well in practical classes, and doing well for my YouTube channel. Stress can very well be physical and mental. All of the stress affected not only my weight, but also my sleep quality with me being constantly tired and having a very slow digestion. How can you heal from over-exercising, you ask? We will get into that in a bit more detail during the last section, which is just about to start, but no already. It's simple. Rest, sleep, and have good nutrition. Remove the sources of stress, as many as you possibly can. And suddenly you know, it's time to start something new and trust the magic of beginnings. Okay, how cheesy is it that I used a Drake quote for this last section of today's video? But if it fits? If this, you know. When I learned that I might be over exercising, I knew it was time to change things because I wasn't happy. I had a hard time getting up in the morning. I needed a nap every single day. I couldn't find the motivation to work out. I couldn't give my very best during my workouts. And all of my misery didn't even show any results, which made everything worse for my mental health. I felt like I ended up right where I started back in February. And instead of going forward and making progress, I felt like I was going backwards. And this was never the plan. So all of my hit workouts, all of my 60 minute sessions and all of my favorite clickbaity workout videos and over ambitious fitness YouTubers, I said goodbye to them. Or at least, see ya again, because I just need the break. During this week, I did one weightlifting video and it wasn't high intensity. Do you get deja vu when she's with you? Do you get deja vu when she's with you? 
déjà fou I am so hungry. All of the other days I had Pilates. Four out of seven mornings. And I loved it. I loved waking up and getting ready for my Pilates session. I love the chill vibe and the constant message of doing something good for your body. Going to devour this now. Demolish. Mmm. Yeah, I'm so ready for this. Just oh, this better be good. I was still taking just one rest day, but not every day was high intensity, just one or two of them. And on my actual rest day, I felt good. I enjoyed my free time, I went for a walk, I just lived my life and I didn't even think about working out right now. And that's a first for me in three months. When stepping back from exercising too much and too hard, I knew I also had to step back from wearing my Apple Watch. Please, a round of applause for me now because I have been wearing that thing religiously every single day since late 2018. And as much as it had helped me to motivate myself in the early days, it also made things worse when exercise became like a drug to me. Being addicted to exercise is nothing shameful. I still don't know why so many people don't want to own up to it. It's natural that it can get you hooked because it makes you feel good. And anything that releases endorphins within your body can become a drug. I think it's important to be honest. I love the fitness positive community, but there is no need to preach the picture of working out daily to fit in. You don't have to wake up at 6 a.m. You don't have to eat three big meals. You don't have to do 40 minutes of hit every day. You don't have to be drenched in sweat to say that you had a good workout. How do For I some time, I believed into all of these things because I wasn't happy with myself before and I thought by changing my life and becoming that girl, I would be happy because I would be perfect. I look so funny right now. I look good, but I'm going to shoot my thumbnail for the hit Bieber video, so let's look at my twin. But instead, it taught me a lesson. Quite a good one though, I will say. It was quite good because I learned a new thing. I learned to rest and I learned that I have to listen to my own body. Even though I am not happy with my current form because this is so not the body that I'm used to, I have a much bigger love for my body now. I'm currently on a path of bettering things. Just to sum things up, Here's what I learned and what I will change. Too much exercise is not the answer. Overexercising can make you gain weight. Rest is more than just important. Eat more nutrient dense food. Get your portion sizes back under control. Do more low impact workouts. Find joy in exercise. If you're sick or sore, take a rest. Taking a rest but seeing others not having to doesn't mean that you are weak. Maybe they want to take a rest but they can't. Or maybe they just feel more relaxed than you do right now. Don't compare yourself, just listen to your own body. The lifestyle you see with many popular YouTubers often will not lead to a healthy life for yourself. These videos are edited, a lot of the time the message is portrayed in an overly exaggerated way, and no one ever said that these people actually have the perfect lifestyle. Learn to differentiate between being told to eat intuitively and people who seem to overdo it. That, by the way, is one of my biggest struggles because a lot of these eating intuitively YouTubers have let me into thinking that snacking on chips and cake at 1am is completely normal and just intuitive, whereas in reality, this is more likely to be binge eating. But that's a whole other topic. All of this has led me and you guys who are following me onto a new path, a healing path. Yes, I'm going to lose that weight because I want to, not because I think I have to. And I will take you guys with me. I will also take you with me on a journey of finding peace with my inner self and rest. I'm ready to go to bed. That was so bad. <laughs> I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you next week. Take care.